Well, thank you all for coming. Um, ASOC is very pleased to be at this historic 50th anniversary meeting. Um, for 30 years, ASOC has been trying to work for the full protection and the permanent protection of Antarctica. And our goals have always been about the same. We want to protect the wilderness values, the scientific values, and the habitat values. And we salute the successes of the Antarctic Treaty System in protecting the peace in Antarctica for the last 50 years and laying a remarkable foundation for scientists to do globally significant work. And so I want to especially salute scientists. They don't get enough recognition, and yet without their work, we wouldn't really get very far in protecting those regions, the polar regions, or the rest of the Earth. Now, as we've learned from the International Polar Year results, and we heard a very wonderful set of presentations last Monday afternoon, uh, things are not looking so good for Antarctica. And I'm not going to repeat all the things that Josh said, but just to leave you with one fact that I pulled out of the, of the SCAR report. Of the 244 marine glaciers that drain the ice sheet and associated islands of the peninsula, 87% have shown overall retreat since 1953. So this is a major wake-up call. We have many elements of this wake-up call, and SCAR, which brings together scientists from all over the world, has been in the forefront of trying to tell us all, tell planet Earth what's going on. So we put a paper on the table, as all the delegates know, on climate change for, I think, the third or fourth straight year this year. And we had policy recommendations drawing on SCAR's science report. And the most important one of those is, as previous speakers have said, is to get our sleeves rolled up and deliver a very, very good result in Copenhagen. This is our big test. So I'm going to echo what uh, Josh and Jim said. When you all go home, I hope you can do everything in your power to convince your governments to deliver a good deal for the planet in Copenhagen this December. And if we do that, we'll lay the foundation so that the polar regions in 50 years still have a lot of the beauty and the values that we see now. If we don't do that, we're not going to be looking at anything remotely like the Antarctic and the Arctic today. So thank you all for coming. Uh, please circulate in the aquarium. We've got a very fine venue. And um, very nice to see all of you.